Well, one of America's favorite sitcoms is coming to town. The Office Experience is making its debut this Thursday in Washington, D.C. All right, Aaron Como's got today's Fox 5 field trip, giving us the behind the scenes of Dunder Mifflin. Uh, just a second. Yes, Michael, I'll let them know you're in a meeting. So... I am sitting at Pam Beasley's iconic desk, getting to play the role of the famous Pam. Jim Zesk is set up right behind me, and I am standing with Stacey. She is the co-president of Superfly X, and they put this amazing experience together. Stacey, I'm looking at down to the post-it notes where it says order decorations for Phyllis's birthday and the solitaire up on the screen. You guys thought of every detail. Yeah, it was really fun. I mean, we all love this show, so doing a deep dive into all of the characters and their desks and what they had was pretty fun. And people can come here and kind of sit at Pam's desk. Fully interactive experience. We're walking over to Michael's office that even has the world's best boss mug. What was it like putting this together? It was really fun. You know, obviously we rewatched the show from beginning to end, which is always a fun uh, work activity to do. And then we worked really closely with NBC. Um, their live entertainment team and also with Deedle D Productions, which is Greg Daniels' production team, to make sure that we got all of the details right. I mean, everything is on point. We'll do a little, a little walk past everyone's desks. You can even see the photos of Jim and Pam and the way everything is. I binge watched this series during the pandemic, and you were saying I wasn't the only one. <laughs> no, a lot of people sort of went back to this show that was so familiar, so silly, so fun to watch as a way to escape kind of everything else going on. Yeah, and you even hear the show kind of playing in the background, Dunder Mifflin memorabilia everywhere. What is your favorite part of this experience? I mean, I, obviously the bullpen is pretty amazing because it really makes you feel you're inside Dunder Mifflin. But I think as we see kind of later on in the space, there's also really fun activities, which I think we're going to go check one out right now. Oh, yes, but first, but a first. quick look in the fridge down to Dwight's. We've got Dwight's Goose. My good Dwight's Goose and, you know, rest in peace. We've got sprinkles in the freezer. Oh, poor sprinkles. Walk with me because I put our interns to work. We all know and love the Dunder Mifflin Office Olympics. Yes, it's one of the, the best episodes, most favorite. Oh. <laughs> here we have Ijun and Mason, and they are playing right now. You can sit at the desk and really just have a great time in here. Yeah, you, we've got medals, so you can sort of decide, declare who won, wins gold, silver, and bronze. Where are the medals? This is amazing. Where, the medals are right oh, here. Oh, look at that. Yep. <laughs> this is so much fun. You guys have thought of everything. I, I'm going to jump up here on the platform and declare myself the gold medal winner of the Office Olympics. And I know you have a lot of Instagrammable moments, like where Kevin spilled his chili, and we also have a lot of merch, right? Yeah, we've got some custom, limited edition, exclusive merch that you can only buy here. And then, yeah, if you go through, we've got Kevin's chili, we've got Beach Day, we've got all kinds of um, iconic episodes to celebrate. All right, well, I'm going to have some fun, do some interactive office experience exploration, and we'll check back in with you with all the merch options coming up. And don't forget, tickets on sale. This opens on Thursday. I love it. Here's a fun fact. Um, if you see the um, on Dwight's desk the Froggy 101 bumper sticker, mm -hmm. that was one of my first jobs, was actually mm -hmm. working at that radio station. Really? At the actual Froggy really? 101, long before the office was in uh, Scranton. That's when I was working in, uh, in Scranton, Wilkes-Barre, I love PA. that story. Yeah, I, and I still have one of the yeah. original bumper stickers. <laughs> oh, well, you got to go to this. Yeah, which is pretty cool. <laughs>